Good morning ladies and gents, this is the second video in the BTEC Level 3 Applied Science Unit 8 Using Statistics for Science where we're going to look at curve fitting and regression. If you remember in the first video we looked at mass and length as a function of each other for the CBAS. Remember we drew a straight line? So this time we're going to look at voltage and current for a piece of wire, Yeah, the old the classic Ohm's Law experiment. So we're going to jump straight in this time and just drag out the data and we're going to go insert scatter graph choosing just the points and the graph will appear and just like last time I'm going to tidy up as I go along I'm going to remove the legend and I'm going to label the axes so that I know which is which so the one along the bottom is voltage okay voltage in volts and the axis up the side we click on the chart, insert axis vertical rotated, and this one is current in amps. Okay, so we've got our orientation. We've got voltage along the bottom, current in amps. And what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into fitting a curve. And I kind of by eye, it looks like it's a straight line which tails off along the top, but we're going to go straight in, we're going to click on the data point, right click, add trend line, linear display the equation and display the R squared on the chart and move them over there so we've got them somewhere separate just like last time and this time we have a straight line that fits the data to an R squared of 0 0.99 which is 99 percent yeah this straight line explains the data to 99 percent accuracy so just like that we've got an equation that links the current Y to the voltage which is X Okay, we've got this nice straight line relationship. Some things to draw out about this graph is the fact that when there's no voltage, we'd expect no current to flow. So we'd expect it to go through naught naught. But that's not the case, is it? The y equals mx plus c equation shows that when x voltage is naught, there is a current of minus 0 0.37 amps, which kind of doesn't make sense. So in this case, there's an error in our data in somewhere. Maybe it's a systematic error of what we've measured. Maybe it's a measurement error. Maybe it's some calibration error. Maybe there's something not quite right with our experiment, which is actually saying that with no voltage, 0 0.37 minus 0 0.37 current flows. Okay, maybe we didn't zero our meters when we started. But there we go, very, very simply, drawing out some data, right-click and adding a trend line, and we've now got a line that explains that data to 99% accuracy. Thank you.